The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. We retrieved more oil from the village store. It is ready to use as our first line of defense, as you suggested. Overall, I believe my knights are ready for the coming battle. Morale is high, thanks to you. There is still time before the sun goes down. If you have not yet spoken to Murdoch, or if there is anything you have planned... Good luck to you then, and may the Maker watch over us all. Men, know that we fight for the Maker and our hour. Light the traps! Burn the
Dawn arrives, and we survive the night. We are victorious. And though this victory came at great cost, we must remember none of us would be here were it not for the heroism of the one who stands beside me. I thank you, good sir. Truly the Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. Surely these people deserve some small celebration, don't you think? There is time yet. Let us bow our heads and give honor to those who gave their lives in defense of Redcliffe. Murdoch of Redcliffe, Mayor and beloved father, we salute you. You and so many others who have perished here, walk with he who is your maker. Long may you know the peace of his love. With the Maker's favor, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your Arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Now we've no time to waste. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. My husband and son are dead. What am I supposed to do now? I feel numb. have to evacuate the village if those darkspawn come closer. It just seems so horrible. With mother and father both gone, I suppose they'll send us to an orphanage, maybe separated. At least we're both alive. I won't forget what you did, though. Neither of us will. Thank you. With mother and father dead, we don't have any money. I think we have relatives in Denerim, but we've no way to get there. We'll be fine. I promised Mother I'd see to Bevan's safety, and I will. We should leave now, I suppose. There's a wagon taking us north, and I don't want to miss it. Farewell. There are many gone who we must honor. But we must also remember them. Efforts are greatly appreciated. I'm off.
The end is upon us. The dead rise, and foul magic spreads across the land. Repent your sins before death. Beg for the Maker's divine forgiveness. I cannot. It is my sacred duty. Magic is everywhere. Everywhere. The time to repent has come. At long last, the end has come. Oh, I am ready. Good to see you in one piece. Do you have news of Elena yet? No, not to me there isn't. Do you have news about her or not? Well, I'll give it some time. Now's the best time to go into the castle, though, and see for yourself. Remember, a promise is a promise. Right. I haven't got much, obviously, but I'll do whatever I can for you. Admit, for a while, I didn't think either of us would survive. It's good to see you did. Possibly. And what kind of tip do I get out of it? <laughs> Cute. I'll take it. Something you'd like, boss. Fair enough, now the fighting's over. Some men come to celebrate. Most come to forget. It would take months to get the stock back to normal and start turning a profit. But I think it's possible. Whether Lloyd's up to it or not, well, who knows? It works for you now, right? Good luck to you, then. What do you need, partner? A drink? Ah, oh, better with the fighting over, but still bad. I'm low on stock, low on customers, there's damage to the place. Right, of course, it's uh, free for you, being a partner and all. It is sad to think of how much death there has been here. But we have saved the village beyond all expectations. You have done well, my friend. I will remain here to guard the village and receive any fellow knights as they continue to return. At least until the castle is retaken. Odd how quiet the castle looks from here. You would think there was nobody inside at all. But I shouldn't delay things further. I had a plan. To enter the castle after the village was secure. 
There is a secret passage here, in the mill, accessible only to my family. I knew you would choose to enter the castle instead of staying in the village. And we needed warriors. I'm sorry if I... Maker's breath. Tigan. Thank the Maker, you yet live. Isolde. You're alive. How did you... What has happened? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over. And I must return quickly. And I... need you to return with me, Tigan. Alone. What? I... Who is this man, Tigan? Were it not for his help, Isolde, I would not be here. I owe him my life. Pardon me, I... I would exchange pleasantries, but... Considering the circumstances... Please, Isolde. We had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. I know you need more of an explanation, but I... I, I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and hunt the living. The maid responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Connor is going mad. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tigan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. For Connor's sake. I promised I would return quickly and only with Tigan. Promised? Whom did you promise? Something the mage unleashed. So far it allows Eamon, Connor and myself to live. The others were not so fortunate. It killed so many and turned their bodies into walking nightmares. Once it was done with the castle, it struck the village. It wants us to live, but I do not know why. It allowed me to come for you, Tigan, because I begged, because I said Connor needed help. I... I do not know. Oh, Maker's mercy. Could it truly be a demon? I can't let it hurt my Connor. You must come back with me, Tigan. Please. He is an infiltrator, I think. One of the castle staff. We discovered he was poisoning my husband. That is why Eamon fell ill. Eamon was poisoned? He claims an agent of Terran Loghain's hired him. He may be lying, however. I cannot say. I... I beg your pardon? It's a rather impertinent accusation. An evil I cannot fathom holds my son and the husband hostage. I came for help. What more do you want from me? Tigan, I do not have much time. What if it thinks I'm betraying it? It could kill Connor! Please come back with me. Must I beg? The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isolde. <sighs> Thank the Maker. Bless you, Tegan. <gasps> Bless you. I'm not certain, to be honest. I cannot let Isolde return alone. Perhaps I can help Connor or Eamon. Perhaps this is really a trap, but this is my family. I must try. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isolde, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Please do not take too long. I will be by the bridge. Here's what I propose. I go in with Isolde, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? Sir Perth and his men can watch for danger at the castle entrance. If you can open the gates from within, they can move in and help you. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. If you choose not to go, 
then it's up to me to do what I can. Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. Isolde, me, and anyone else, we are expendable. Well, that's something, I suppose. But I can delay no longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck. Is there anyone alive out there? Wait, you don't look like one of the Arlesser's guards. Are you from outside the castle? I... yes, I understand. Yes, no trouble from me. I understand. My name is Jowan. I'm a mage Lady Isolde hired to tutor her son, Connor. Until they, uh threw me into the dungeon here. No, I... I poisoned Al Eamon, but that's all I did. I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She... had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So, they left me to rot. Lady Isolde was looking for a mage to tutor Connor secretly. Terran Loghain found out and he sent me. I was to use the opportunity to poison the Arl. I was told that Arl Eamon was a threat to Ferelda, that if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. You see, I'm a Malefica, a blood mage. I dabbled in the Forbidden Arts, and they condemned me to death for it. I thought Loghain was giving me a chance to redeem myself. But he's abandoned me here, hasn't he? Everything's fallen apart, and I'm responsible! I have to make it right somehow, I have to! Connor had started to show signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the circle of magi would take him away for training. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. I thought that too. Connor has little knowledge of magic, but he may have done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. Some. But he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell, never mind something more powerful. At least not intentionally. Like I said, he may have torn the veil accidentally. If he's involved in this at all, I really don't know. Because he would be taken away, forever. A mage cannot inherit a title, even the son of a powerful Arl. 
She's also a pious woman. Her son having magic was humiliating. No, she was adamant that he never find out. She said that he'd do the right thing, even if it meant losing their son, and that infuriated her. I never meant for it to end like this. I swear. Let me help you fix this. Give me a chance, please. I understand, and I accept it. Do, do what do you have to. Very well.
Hmm. I'm off. All right. Valena, the Arlesa's maid. I, is she all right? What happened to everyone? I don't know what happened. There was some talk the Arl was poisoned, that, that he wasn't just sick. They arrested someone for it, but then everything went mad. People started killing each other, and then their bodies would get up and walk. They didn't attack us right away, unless you tried running. I... I I waited until everyone else was gone. I couldn't stand it anymore. You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? But, but the monsters... I'll find my way. I can run fast and I know the castle. Thank you.
My Valena returned. She told me of your daring rescue. I can't begin to tell you how grateful I am. Take this. A reward for your deed. It's dwarven made and should serve you well. Thank you again. I'm forever in your debt. You're welcome here, friend. What can I do for you? You're welcome to whatever I have, obviously. I'm at your service. You're welcome here, friend. What can I do for you? You're welcome to whatever I have, obviously. I'm at your service.
keeps going. going. 